Good morning. Voting has begun in the much anticipated elections in the hill state of Himachal Pradesh. Over 55 lakh people across the state are casting their vote today. 412 candidates are in fray in the 68 assembly constituencies. At stake is not only power in the hill state, but also a chance to append the state's political tradition of voting out the incumbent. Having done it once in Uttarakhand earlier this year, the BJP believes it can bank on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's popularity, development agenda and the lack of a popular opposition face to secure a second consecutive term. Set up the battle for you. What is at stake? What are the big numbers that we are looking at? So 68 assembly constituencies, as I just said, in all 55 lakh voters who are casting their vote in these 68 constituencies. So far, Himachal has seen a bipolar contest. This time, it appears to be a three-way contest with the new entrant in Ahmadni Party. There are 43,000 first-time voters and hence they hold the key certainly. The question certainly is what will decide battle for Himachal Pradesh? Will it be alternating just as it has shown all these years or will it come as a surprise? Remember in 2017, the BJP won 44 seats. The Congress won 21 seats in Himachal Pradesh. I'm going to go straight to Arun Dhata, but before that, let's listen in to the soundbite that has come in from the Chief Minister. Confident, that was Jairam Thakur. He is contesting from Mandi constituency. But before I bring in the guests, those who have traveled the state of Himachal to get you the sights, sounds and ideas, what are the issues that are deciding the choice of the voters in the hill state, I'm going to go straight to Arun Dhata, who's joining me live from Hamirpur. Uh, remember, INB Minister, the Sports and Youth Affairs Minister, is a member of Parliament from this constituency of Hamirpur. What is the mood like there early morning, uh, Arun? Good morning. Well, good morning, uh, Maria, and good morning to our uh, viewers. Uh, in a short while from now, we are told that Anurag Thakur, along with his family, of course, the former Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Prem Kumar Dhumal, will come out from uh, uh, their residence and will go uh, to the nearest school, the polling booth, where they will be casting their uh, votes. And uh, it has been a very, very hectic schedule, of course. Uh, you have also, uh, you, know, uh, you know, did a campaign trail with Anurag Thakur. Uh, he traveled across all the 17 uh, constituencies, which falls under his Lok Sabha. Remember, he is the fourth four-time member of parliament from uh, Hamirpur and therefore uh, uh, he has huge responsibility on his shoulder. Uh, and uh, we know that how BJP had a high-octane campaign 
in the state, starting from Prime Minister Modi, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda, and all other senior uh, uh, cabinet ministers were present here doing their separate rallies, meeting people in different uh, areas. So this time around, the sense that I've got uh, while traveling across the state is that it is going to be a very, very tough contest between both BJP and Congress. Of course, there is a big problem which uh, rebel candidates are creating for both uh, Congress and BJP, but BJP seems to be uh, at, uh, at, at the top as far as damage is concerned from those uh, uh, independent. Even uh, here in this uh, Hamirpur constituency, uh, uh, Lok Sabha constituency, where last time BJP had uh, managed to win uh, two seats, uh, three had gone to uh, Congress's side, and in total, if you see uh, you know, the 17 seats which falls under the Lok Sabha constituency of Anurag Thakur, BJP had managed to win nine seats uh, last time around. So this time around, he'll be uh, hoping to better his tally uh, because uh, he has given the responsibility. Specifically, he was tasked to move around in, uh, in Hamirpur Lok Sabha constituency and make sure that BJP does well. Because if you see uh, the nearing district Kangra last time around, it, it, remember it is the largest. You have 15 assembly segments in uh, Kangra, thereby it becomes the largest uh, a district in in the in the state. So last time BJP won 11 seats. So they have did uh, you know fairly well uh, last time. But this time around uh, it is difficult for them because you have uh, uh, senior BJP rebels contesting independently in Kangra, which can create problem for BJP. Even in Mandi, the home district of uh, Jairam Thakur, last time they had won nine seats out of ten. Uh, and you know how they are going to match that or if that did not happen, then how they are going to compensate from other districts. That is something which is going to be very, very uh, significant. But, uh, uh, of course, uh, one thing is sure that uh, this time around, it seems uh, to be a very, very difficult contest, uh, both of them. BJP has started their campaign, Rivaz Badlega, and Congress Party has been completely banking on two issues. One, of uh, the history of the state, which uh, witnessed change every five years. Second, of course, uh, the OPS issue, which is the largest issue in the state. They are thinking that these, th these two things will work in favor of Congress, and therefore we are, we are not seeing uh, that much intensifying campaign from the Congress's side. All right, Arun, I'm